Hello, everybody. Come on in. Why did it say trying to reconnect? That's bad. Let's hope we don't have any problems today. I'm having a little trouble with my internet, but we'll see with the Wi-Fi here. But Jessica, you're the first one to pop up there. All right, everyone, we're live. This is live. Not like the last two weeks uh, when, the, when it was taped, because I was overseas. What a difference a week makes. This is live, and I'm in Pensacola, back in the house. Nice to see you. Come on in, everybody. All right, all right. Yes, everybody. All the familiar faces and names are coming in here. This is great. Anthony, nice, Judy, Jeanette. Come on in. Plenty of room. Martin, hello. Great. All right, all right. Well, um, got a lot to share with you, so come on in, everybody. We'll wait for a few more people to gather. If you're watching this, you know, later, then this makes no sense to you, but right now it's live, so. Hello, Jill. Thank you for your gift of the socks and everything. That was great. Uh, all right, come on in, everyone. It's the most wonderful time of the, what was it, that comment? It's the most wonderful day of the week. You're right, Derek. It's the most wonderful day of the week. Uh, all right, all right. Okay, so it's Thursday, Central Time, 7.30 p.m., and this is live. Ooh, who says I look wonderful? That's nice, thank you. That's nice of you to say that. I am very rejuvenated, refreshed, re-energized, ready to get back to work, to ministry. So, um, got a little color there with a little sun from northern Spain and uh, lost a little weight, I think. Not that I needed to or wanted to, but just didn't eat a lot and walked a lot while I was there, but it's all good. Yes, Martin, it's 1.30 there in the UK. I'm, not, I'm no longer on that timetable. I was for a while, but I think I've gotten back used to uh, our time right now. Okay, so, hello everybody. Um, my mom and I are watching. Oh, Terry, my sister and my mom are watching. Hello there, Terry. Hello, mom. It's your, it's your son, Bill. Remember me? Um, anyway, uh, okay, great. Wait a minute, somebody, oh, Roxanne wants to join me on video. I can't do that. Hello there, Roxanne. Roxanne! Sorry, I know you, you, you hear that all the time. All right, I'm just goofing off. Here we go. So, welcome everyone. It's good to see you. Um, hello to everyone watching from different parts of the world. It's awesome. Um, it's nice to be back live again. I enjoyed doing those last two uh, Facebook live sessions uh, taped in um, when I was in Spain. Um, the one was, I guess I watched it later, and that bell was really loud. You couldn't hear me over the bell. And then the one last week was me walking uh, on the Camino. I thought, I just really wanted to give you that sense of what it was like, and that having that youth uh, group, not youth, group of young adults with me as well, that was really fun. They enjoyed that. I kept on seeing them at different stops, at masses, and uh, along the way, and um, it was really awesome. Uh, so that was that was just a neat experience. The whole thing was fantastic. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for those who supported me with um, some tips, some advices, advices, advice, and um, also uh, thanks to a couple of gifts uh, to help with some finances and things like that. You know who you are. I appreciate that very much. It was uh, people are saying, "How was the Camino?" It was better than I thought it would be, and and I'll be specific. I I'm not just saying that it was. Um, I had hoped, you know, to go and, and really have a good experience and walk a lot. That I did. We walked about a hundred, uh, a little over a hundred miles. Um, but I think the neatest thing, the thing I didn't, some of you told me this would happen, but I didn't really, I don't know, I guess I didn't, uh, didn't know how much uh, it would happen, but I met so many people from all over the world and I would walk with people for a while and just talk with them, people from, um, Taiwan and uh, all over Europe, especially in Spain, of course. Some folks from the United States, but not that not that many. I was surprised. From France, from Italy, um, Ireland. Uh, it was really neat just to kind of walk with them for a while and talk with them. A uh, person in uh, England, Manchester, you know, just 
He just opened up. His wife just died, and he just wanted to go on the Camino to kind of pray and reflect and take her with him in his heart. And uh, it's really neat to just walk with him for a while. Or those young adults that I mentioned that was inspiring, or just somebody who, you know, was walking before they start cancer treatment and just really want to pray for that and be strong and all of that and pray for healing. Uh, that was that was probably the neatest part of it. Um, the second best part was, yeah, like I said, walking and just seeing all of those towns and tiny churches that are hundreds and hundreds of years old. You know, in our country, we don't really have things that are that old, structures like that. But there, here's a church that was built in the 1100s, you know? Wow, and still looks about the same, you know? Stone church, it's pretty awesome. And to be able to celebrate Mass um, was, of course, a great blessing. Um, Father Hank and I would go into these places and we'd say, you know, we're priests, can we come celebrate? Sure, sure. And then, um, what's your name, where are you from? And I said, well, actually, I'm, I'm Bishop Bill from Florida. A bishop, well, then you're gonna preside. Um, no, no, that's can celebrate. No, we, of course you're going to preside. So I presided at all those places. I, they wanted me to preach too, but I said, I'm a visitor. I'm a pilgrim. You preach. And um, so we did it in my Mexican Spanish, which I, uh, that's what I learned and I prefer. Um, it's a little different. It must have sounded a little different to their ears in Spanish in Spain, but nonetheless, uh, did it. And then at the, every, then when I went to the next place, they would say, oh, you're the bishop from Florida course we've been waiting for you that was kind of cool and then in the end when we've got into um, Santiago then uh, the canon there the rector asked me to um, preside at the big noon mass on Sunday which was a great honor they had a mitre and a crozier for me and everything and it was packed with people from all over the world and I got to do that so that was really neat um, people asked a couple other things like someone said are you sore uh, wasn't we were tired after 15 miles a day hikes um, hikes of 15 miles a day or 17 one day or 16 that was a little tiring um, especially when you're going kind of uphill sloping up there are a couple of stages where you you, you are going up and uh, that was very tiring but um, and I must say spoiler alert I don't know if I mentioned this last week, but we did take a taxi one day over the mountain, over that steepest part. Um, and you know what? I'm not, I'm not embarrassed about that. I think that's a good thing. The goal was to get there, not to win a prize and walk the whole way. But we walked the last 100 miles, but right in the 120 there, we, um, we just cheated a little bit and took a taxi, which was fantastic because then we got to go to a couple places we probably would not have gone to including a place where there's a Eucharistic miracle there at O Sebrio, Sebrio, they would say. Um, I think it was in the 1400s that a priest whose faith was weakening, um, wasn't sure what he believed anymore. He was celebrating Mass when he said, this is my body. Um, the host actually turned into uh, flesh and visibly, it always is, of course, it's Jesus' body and blood, but he could see that it was human flesh and blood. And... Um, it's still preserved to this day. I got to see it behind glass and see the chalice and the patent that he used. That was fantastic. And then to go to different monasteries and religious communities. There was a sweet sister, a nun, just standing there um, offering blessings and some prayers for people as they came by. And Oh, I loved it. I, I told her I was a bishop and she just stopped everything and we talked for a while and then I blessed her and I asked her for a blessing and she blessed me. It was just one of those neat moments. So uh, health-wise, great. I, we, had, we had great shoes and socks. We did not have any problems with blisters. I saw young people like limping along and at night tending to blisters. We didn't have any of that. I got pretty nasty rash on my back from my backpack, but uh, otherwise it was fine. And the other thing is the accommodations. Uh, most of the time we were able to find a room with two beds. It was great, but uh, four nights I think we slept in hostels and that's, that was uh, interesting, you know, with me and 50 or 60 people in bunks. A um, lot of snoring out there. A lot of you snore really loud. Whew. Um, that was, yeah, an interesting experience. I woke up and just kind of opened my eyes and look over in the bunk next to me and there's some woman kind of looking at me and I was like, ah, oh, uh, buenos dias. And then I just kind of rolled over. <laughs> that was very interesting. I don't know how long she was looking at me. Uh, she was a little surprised to see me later on on the altar that evening. Uh, anyway, fun moments. 
Um, but otherwise, uh, yeah, we'd, I'd walk in and I'd say, do you have a room with two beds? And I said this in one place, I said, um, yeah, tiene un, un cuarto con dos camas. And the lady said, si, sí, si. Sí. Well, it was with 60 commas, 60 beds. She didn't lie, she did have a room with two beds. She just forgot to mention that 58 other beds are in that same room, but anyway, it was fine. Um, really great, and the food was wonderful, and the people were wonderful, so it was fantastic. Uh, so thank you for your prayers and everything. What did I learn? Uh, uh, just, I, I don't know about learning, but I just um, had a great sense of being walking with God, walking with the Lord, and being reminded yet again that that's the only thing that matters is being with God and letting God be with us and listening to him and slowing down and all of that. I, I hear Jesus saying to me, you know, Martha, Martha, Bill, Bill, you're so worried, you're so anxious, you're so upset about everything. The only thing that matters is being with me and listening to me, letting me dwell within you and letting me love you. So um, I knew that kind of going in, but I really feel that more than ever uh, coming out, you know, just that sense of God's presence that that's the most important thing, the only thing really in the world that we should worry about. And it's always there, which is awesome. Uh, so it was a great experience. Where I'm gonna put together another video. I took, uh, did little videos throughout the day, each day, especially in the morning and the evening. And then um, Derek, who's watching here, uh, said that he's going to stitch them together. That's not the official word, edit them together, whatever it is, into one video. So you'll see that uh, when that comes out. Um, I think that's all I wanted to share with you about that. Um, there's so many other things, but it was just really, really good. Listen, faith, yep, yep. Good food though. Uh, pulpo, a lot of, uh, I ate pulpo, octopus, um, paella, yummy, uh, peppers, pimientos de padron, which are really good, these peppers that they, they kind of just, you, you really, you, you cook in oil, and they just, they kind of just shrivel up, and, and oh, they're not spicy, but they're so good. I ate a lot of those, pimientos de padron, patatas bravas, croquettes, things like that, and a lot of cappuccino, wherever we went. Man, just like those cappuccinos, for four, you know, it just, I love them. That's what was my fuel. Okay, enough of that. Thank you, though. I think, uh, thank you for your prayers and your support, and know that I was praying for you, uh, specifically for this community, for all those who are part of this Facebook Live community, and for your families and your needs. I would remember you, especially when I went into the churches before the Blessed Sacrament, and then when I celebrated Masses, so that's great. A um, couple other things to share with you. Okay, again, thank you for your prayers, your support, and uh, the socks and other gifts you've given to me along the way. Um, hello to Carol Bauer, by the way. I'm, I'm surprised I didn't say hello to you. Carol is a great friend of my mom and a parishioner at uh, my former parish, Christ the King, in South Bend, Indiana. And um, I just wanted to embarrass her. So, hi, Carol. You're great. Hope you're doing well. Um, in our diocese, there, is many things, there are many things going on. Uh, yes, uh, Saturday, we have an ordination. We are blessed to celebrate the ordination of Randy Raker. Randy has been serving as deacon at the Cathedral of the Sacred Heart. He will continue there as parochial vicar at the Cathedral. Um, but I'll be ordaining him Saturday at 11 o'clock. If you'd like to come and you're anywhere near the area, come on to the Cathedral, 11 a.m. Saturday for that ordination. What a great blessing that is for our local church. Um, and then um, as well, is it the same day? I think it is. We have an event in Defuniac Springs, a food packing event for, um, uh, for we, we, we have many people there. We did it last year. I think there's a, there was a video on our Facebook. Um, where we, uh, for Catholic Relief Services and other agencies, we, we get to get, we come together and we make these uh, bags of uh, beans and rice and some protein and um, some dried vegetables, put it all in there, it's sealed and everything. We made thousands of those last year. They're gonna make, they're gonna double it and make tens of thousands, I believe, this year. And then um, they're boxed and everything's sent to Haiti or other countries and uh, it really can help feed families for a long time. So that's happening in Defuniac. If you, if you want new information, check out our webpage for that. Um, 
and uh, it's a food packing event and they can also use money anytime you want to support them with uh, with your finances certainly your prayers but that's going to be Saturday into Funiac Springs um, and what else just a lot of other things I'll be in Tallahassee on Sunday for the uh, welcome back to school mass for uh, FAMU um, Florida A&MU um, one of the historic historical black community, black churches, and colleges and universities, HBCUs. Um, great school there in Tallahassee. I have mass there for, and the, we'll welcome and bless the professors and the students there who come to mass. Um, so lots going on here, but uh, things are going really well. And thank you for your prayers and all that. I'm excited to be back on fire, ready to get back to the sacraments and celebrate ordination and masses and everything else. Um, I'm probably leaving out some things, but I'm going to leave it at that. Happy birthday if today's your birthday, if I've forgotten anything else. Oh, the prayer. I, I will not forget that. I'm going to pray for you and for your intentions, and um, please continue to pray for me and for my uh, ministry here in the diocese. All right? Great. Oh, wait, I think someone, did someone put something? Oh, there you go. Uh, Vicki, thank you, Vicki. Vicki put up in her comment here, um, Cross Catholic Outreach, there you go, crosscatholic.org slash food dash packing dash events slash volunteer. But anyway, uh, crosscatholic.org. That will give you more information on the food packing event. All right, how about a prayer? Heavenly God, we thank you, we bless you. I thank you personally for the ability to go on pilgrimage and to encounter you and your beloved people on the Camino in Spain. Thank you for a safe trip, safe travels and everything. We ask you to continue to watch over us, for all of us are really pilgrims. We're on the way from our destination, or our place here on earth to our destination, our final destination in the kingdom of heaven forever. Keep us safe on our journey. Keep us strong and faithful on our journey so that we may be strong and faithful for one another. Heavenly Father, listen to the prayers of those who cry out to you, especially those who cry out for justice or healing or peace in their hearts or families. Bless all those who are in need because you are good. This we pray through Christ our Lord. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. God bless you. See you next week. Oh, will I see you next week? Yes, I will be, believe it or not, on the road again. Nope, in the air. I'm going to um, Notre Dame. My classmate, Father Bob Dowd, is being, um, uh, it's his inauguration to be installed as the president of Notre Dame. And so um, I'm going to go back and uh, celebrate with him and the Notre Dame community there. Friday, I think is his ordination, but there's events on Thursday, so I'll be there for that day as well. So wherever I am, somewhere on campus, maybe again at the grotto that was fun last time, I'll, I'll do this next week. All right, stay safe, God bless you, and um, I'll see you next time. Goodbye, goodbye.